Hi guys, this is Carrie from Crochet Me Knots. Welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial, we're going to be making these little baggies, these little cases for your earbud cases, for your little earbuds. You can put them in here. Simply very cute. And then you can strap it onto your purse. And we're doing them using the granny square, which is very popular right now. So if you've never made a granny square, this is a perfect tutorial for you to get a square going and you actually get to make something really quick and you get to finish it right away. So you have that instant gratification of finishing something, <laughs> which we all like, instead of having to make a whole blanket that will take you months to do. So this is what we're making today. So all we need, these are just several ones that I've made with leftover. So this is also a great way to get rid of all that leftover because as crafters, as crocheters, we never get rid of balls of yarn. If you're like me, I have tons of these. So we're going to use these today and we're going to need some, a pair of scissors. We need a tapestry needle and I'm going to be working with a four millimeter hook today. Okay. So, um, what I suggest is if you have three balls of yarn, start with the smallest one and work your way up because of course the center is going to be the color that we use the least amount of. And then as we work our way out, we're going to use, um, more and more yarn. So use the smallest ball of yarn you have for the first color and then work your way up. All right, so let's get everything we need and let's get started. All right, guys, so to begin, I do like to start my granny squares with um, a magic ring. If you've never made one or you're not, you haven't perfected it and you just keep trying and you can't make it, it's okay, you can chain four and just go ahead and join um, to make a circle. So um, magic ring. I'll show you just really quick. You grab your end, grab it, and then just wrap it around. I like to hold it down with my finger. Slide your hook on the bottom there. Pull this one out. Twist it so you don't slip it. And just make a chain. So, again, if it's too difficult for you, you just go ahead and chain four. And then just join to make a ring. And just go ahead and crochet into the ring. So we're going to go ahead and chain three. And that counts as a double crochet. And I just realized that my nails are matching the yarn. Wee! <laughs> that never happens. So, I just <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and crochet two more double crochets into that ring. And there we have three double crochets. Chain two. Now these chain twos are going to be making our corners to form the square. So then again, we're going to crochet three more double crochets into the ring. Let me just start to pull it tight. There we go. Three more. Oops, I did four. And chain two. So that is the first round. We are just going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two. And that is the first part of our square. Now we are using uh, medium weight. But if you're using a different weight yarn, if you're using a finer yarn, um, the little square, the square before we finish off with the edging should measure about three inches. So if you're using a different weight yarn, just make sure you get that gauge of about three inches, just the square alone before we finish the edging. Okay, so there we go. We have our four groups of three there. Chain two, 
and now we are going to slip stitch onto the top of that chain three. I'm just going to join it. And now we can secure that because we do need to fasten off. And just cut that. And then we can close the ring. There we go. And just go ahead and snip that off. Okay, so you need to make another one of these. Go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you back here for the next steps. Okay, guys, so now that we have our two, we're going to go ahead and switch colors. And use your next ball size up. So remember, use the ball of yarn you have the most of last. That way we won't run out. So I'm going to use this denim blue. And we are going to join. So usually you start at the corners, and that's what we're going to do. One of the most tedious things about the squares is having to weave in all these ends at the end. So what I like to do is kind of just crochet over them as I go so I don't have to weave them in at the end. So I am going to join this to this corner. So just grab your yarn, slide it in there, wrap it around, pull it. My chain and chain three. Okay. All right, so we're going to be hiding that blue one as well. So just crochet. And we're going to repeat the same thing three double crochets. But we're going to be doing it working all into the spaces of the corner. So we're not actually going into any stitch. And that's one of the ease, you know, one of the Practical things about the granny stitch is that you go into the spaces, not the stitch. So we're going to work in the corners. So each corner we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and into the same corner, three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. And that gives us that corner there. Okay, so I'm going to snip off that blue or just crocheted over it. And this one I'm going to carry along so I can go ahead and hide it. So then we're going to jump over to the next corner there. So you're not going to chain anything in between. We're just going to start our double crochets in that next corner. Three double crochets. chain two and three more double crochets into that same corner. Hold that little tail down. And there we go. And went on to the next one. Three double crochets. I think this tail's too good. I'm going to pull it just to make sure it's nice and hidden. There you go. That just makes it easier than having to weave it in at the end. Chain two and three double crochets. And then on to the last corner, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All right, so that's the second round. And now we slip stitch to the top Oh, that chain three. There we go. Okay, just go ahead and cut. 
and then you have to make another one there we go so work on the second one and I'll be back after that all right guys so you should have your two squares now with both rounds and now we're gonna move on to our third round with our third color so we're gonna switch colors again so again to join I like to join on the corner right above where I have that tail so I can hide it and we're gonna join our thread there and chain three so it's basically the same thing we just did so with the granny square as you grow it you're gonna see that you have more spaces to crochet into now we have this extra space in between which we didn't have in that previous round so that's the only difference as the rounds increase you're gonna have more and more spaces to crochet into so remember you crochet into the spaces not into any stitch so again three double crochets chain two three double crochets and then we're going to go ahead and hop on over into that space in between those two those two groups of double crochet so we're going to go ahead and hop on over there i'm going to cut this my new color i already crocheted over that and we're going to work three double crochets into that space in between and now you can start to hide that tail okay and then we'll jump on over to the corner and work our three double crochets chain two three double crochets so as you can see it's a very simple repeat you just keep growing it and growing it as big as you want the square the tedious part comes when you have to join them all if you're making a blanket. I've never made a full granny square blanket, to be honest, but my grandmother did. And I can imagine how long that took. So this is basically what we're going to keep doing all the way around. You keep hiding your tail. So now we're jump over to this space here in between and work three double crochets. Remember, you only do the chain twos in the corners. And there's no chains in between each of these groups and then now jump onto the corner again three double crochet chain two and keep going so now I think I'm good see you might get a little so just pull the little tail make sure it's nice and taut and you can cut it that's gonna be on the inside so it's not gonna show so keep going all the way around and then finish the second one as well so you have both squares completed and I'll be back to show you what we do next all right guys so you should have your squares done this is what they look like of course you would have different colors and like I said this should measure about three inches squared so if you used a different weight yarn just make sure you get that three inch uh, measurement Okay, so in this case, I am going to weave in these ends because it's easier. We're going to single crochet around it, and it's so much easier to see the stitches if this is not in the way. So I'm just going to weave it through the back, the reverse there. Just hide it the best way you can. That should be good. This is not a piece that's going to have a lot of tugging on it like a blanket, so it should be okay like that. There you go. And let's do this one. We 
make sure you don't pull it because you'll misshape the the edge there. So just cut that off. There we go. Okay. So now that we have our squares, we're going to take that same color we used. Or if you want to use a different color, that's completely up to you. I'm going to use the same gray that I used in the end. So we're going to put them back to back. So make sure the insides are on the inside. So they're back to back. Okay, and we are going to join in the corner just like we've been doing. So make sure you go through both corners. And again, I'm going to be trying to leave that in. So, Okay, so we're going to do two single crochets in that corner. Okay, into the space. Now into the stitch. Where is that tail? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to work two single crochets into that corner there. Okay. And now I'm going to try and show you. Let's put the tail on the inside. We can go ahead and work with that later we can weave it in on the inside after we're done but we need to be able to see our stitches because we're going to be single crocheting through both so line them up corner to corner there great okay so let me pull this out so you could see the stitch the little v and the little v back here so we are going to go through both loops of this side and both loops of the back. So we're going to go through both. And we're going to single crochet. And go through the next one. And go through the next one. Make sure you go through both. Front and back. Might be tricky when that's where the. There we go. And there it went. Single crochet. You go through both. And single crochet. This finishes it off. Very nicely. Instead of just whip stitching it, I think the single crochet edging looks very nice. Okay, so then right here we're coming up on the corner. So you see that's the top of that last double crochet. So we're going to go into that one and the back one. And then when we get to the corner space, we're going to put two double crochets into that space. And then again to the next double, go through both. Go through both. And just keep stretching and make sure all the stitches are lined up. That way you don't get and keep going. Once they're lined up and once you have both two sides done, it's pretty simple. So keep and make sure you always go through both. So it's looking like so we're at the corner, two double crochets into that space. I'm sorry, two single crochets. This is all singles, my bad. I'm sorry if I said doubles. Two single crochets. Okay, so we're at the third side. Okay. 
sometimes it might be hard to see but you'll get it okay so we're at the corner okay and in that chain two space that corner space we're going to do two single crochets okay so now this little guy will hide we're at the top part so now we have to make the closure so now we're going to go ahead and separate them because we're going to single crochet only on the front side don't do don't go through both so we just crocheted into that corner space so single crochet in that next double and in the next one and in the next one in the next one in the next one and then we're at the middle double crochet of this middle cluster of double crochets and here's where we're going to do our little loop here and I made it out of like little clusters you could always make a chain that's fine but I just thought it looked more interesting to make these little clusters and that's what we use to tie it off with to the closure and to hang it on our purse if we if we want to okay so after you've single crocheted there remember that's on top of that double crochet that's in the middle of these three here we're gonna chain two And then we're going to go into that first chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and just pull through the first loop. And you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. Chain two, again go back to that first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and just pull through the first one, yarn over and pull through two. So we're making these little clusters. And we need 10 of them again go into the first one pull up a loop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull two through Okay, so keep going until you have 10 and I'll be back to show you what we do next. Okay, we have our 10 little clusters. Now let's make sure it's not twisted. So I like to just kind of pull on this so it doesn't, and just make sure it's straight. Okay, now I can my hook back in there. Make sure it doesn't twist. And then we're gonna come back down to that same stitch we just came out of and single crochet back in there and there we go you have that little chain there and then continue to single crochet on down just through that front Okay, so now that we've gotten here to the corner, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the space. And then I'm going to slide my hook into that stitch, that single crochet right there, and I'm going to slip stitch. And that puts us over to the other side into that chain two space. I'm going to single crochet once. And then single crochet my way across again and now we're on top of that middle double crochet on the opposite side and now we need to make the tiny loop that the chain is going to go through to fasten the bag okay so we're in that middle one, so we just single crocheted, now we're going to chain four, and come right back down and single crochet back into that same stitch. 
and that gives us that little loop. And finish single crocheting the rest of the row. And again, we're in that chain two, single crochet into that space. And again, we're going to go into that top single crochet there and just slip stitch. Okay. Now we can fasten off. There you go. I'm going to take our needle and we're going to go ahead and hide. And we had that other one, so you can turn it inside out if you want, real quick, so we can hide our tails. So here's that small one. Just trim that off. Now this big one. And just weave it in. Best way you can. Don't pull it too tight again. Just come back. Okay. I think that's good enough. There you go. And then you can flip it back around. Oh. Got a little scrambler there. Let's cut that. And there you go, guys. She's done. Now to fasten it, now you can put your. Oh, it's so cute because you can put your ear pods, your air pods, your earbuds, chapsticks, whatever it is. It's a versatile little pouch. And you just slide the little strap. The little loop through there, and there you go. You attach that to your purse. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a quick little way to learn how to make the granny stitch, and it's a fast little project that you can make for yourself or as a gift. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure your notifications are on to receive notifications on new videos. I'm doing a series on the granny square, so I'm, I'm, I'm making several projects out of granny squares, which are very popular right now. So this is just one of the quick ones I wanted to show you. So please don't forget, subscribe, and uh, have a good day. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.